Now on to the latest breaking news. We first told you about last night at 11. Overnight, we have learned that one man died after he was shot by an IMPD SWAT team member. Our Samantha Johnson is following the latest developments for us this morning. She's live outside of IMPD this morning with what we know right now this morning. Hi, Sam. Hi, Jalea and Allison. That's right. So that shooting happened late last night. We talked to police at the scene who walked us through what they say happened. And according to IMPD, we know this all started about four days ago. Metro police telling us there were at least five calls over the weekend to a home on Woodland Drive on Indy's northwest side. Now those calls started as a welfare check for a man there, but according to family members, it escalated when that man threatened to kill family members and even burn the house down. Now, when officers returned to the house last night, they say they found that man outside with what they say was a machete making threats toward officers. Crisis negotiators were able to make contact with the individual. Uh, a psychologist from the crisis negotiation unit was on scene and assisting. Unfo multiple negotiators spoke with the, with the man, and unfortunately they were not able to have any meaningful communication with the individual throughout the incident. Now that's when police tell us the man moved towards officers, even making contact with one of the officer's body shields. And according to police, one member of the SWAT team shot at the man, hitting him at least once. We're told he was taken to Eskenazi Hospital in critical condition where he died overnight. Now at this point in the morning, we have not learned the name of the man who died. We can tell you that officer who is involved is on administrative leave. That is standard protocol. Julia and Allison, we also have photos of what was recovered there at the scene overnight, including that machete. We'll show you those photos coming up this morning at 530.